guys, this is Mrs. Shaw, and I just wanted to show you the basic video on how to actually start a transformation drawing. So what I did is I just went on Google and started typing stuff that I really relate to. I love shoes. I have like this kind of crazy collection of high heels and different kind of shoes. So I just love them. So I just typed in shoe. And then I was like, I'm hungry. So I typed in fork and I thought, oh, maybe the fork could be part of the heel. And then I thought, well, that's interesting, but it's still boring. Not yet. So then I thought, what can I eat? And then I thought ice cream because I love ice cream. And then I thought, well, you can't eat ice cream with the fork. So then I thought, let's look for a spoon. And as I was looking for all these images, I came up with the idea that I would take this heel and I would put maybe the fork at the bottom. I haven't decided. It might be a curved spoon. And then here, it would curve around and give me the contour of the shoe. But it would probably be utensils, like maybe fork and spoon, fork and spoon. And maybe this whole shoe would be made of ice cream. And, you know, I would have it and it would kind of melt a little. So that's the basic idea that I have. So after you have references, after you've picked your basic idea, you got to start thinking about your art elements and which ones you want to incorporate. And um, so we'll talk about that in the next video. But let's focus on the drawing part first. So what I did is I took my piece of paper and my, I noticed now my proportions are a little off because I drew it real quick for you. This is a lot lower and I drew it real high. So this actually comes with a curve here and it actually comes uh, a little straighter and then right there. But anyway, and then I also forgot the gap right here. And this should be a little bit bigger. But you start looking at your references and you start drawing your object the best that you can. I'm drawing real light on it because I need this to transform and I can't have all those sharp lines. The only reason that I'm making them a little bit darker is that you can actually see what I drew. Okay, so there's my basic drawing. There's not a lot of detail to it because I don't want it to yet. Then I'm going to take my other references and I am, I decided to go with a spoon. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to start curving it this way and start giving me a spoon that actually curves. And I'm going to start adding my spoon there. I add some of my detail later on, but I have a curved spoon now, I think, because I wanted this to be more ice creamy. And when I have all my shading and all my different stuff with it, I think it'll look more a little bit like ice cream and I'm going to give it a couple of the melts. I just got an idea. The heel is going to be like a waffle cone to kind of play on with that right there. And then I'm going to take, I think I'm going to drop the idea of the fork because it doesn't really relate to my spoon. So I'm going to take it here. I'm going to curve the spoon around and I'm going to turn this into a spoon right here. And I'm going to go ahead and do another spoon right here. And then I'm going to give it the waffle cone kind of texture here. And this will be ice cream. I'm not sure about here yet, but I do need a ground level. So I'm going to make a couple little puddles, of just ice cream and maybe drop a cherry here or there, you know, because ice cream has cherries in it. And I love cherries. Maybe put a little cherry here and give it my ground where it's sitting. But you get the point, right? And I really hope... Did I even put... Yes. Yeah, I really hope that you could really see a lot of the detail of what I was talking about. Now, this is what, a three-minute video? So, obviously, I'm going to take more time and draw a better drawing. But you see where I'm going and how this is going to be a transformational drawing. And it's going to be an ice cream shoe. It's going to be made of a waffle cone. It's going to be melting. Um, and it's going to have a ground level. It's going to have a couple of cherries in the ground. And um, I used up a lot of my page. And the next video will have a lot of shading and cross-hatching and different things to help you actually turn this into a drawing. Um, all right, best of luck. I hope you have fun.